This is chapter 2, part C, or third part. I'm going to talk to you about um, the different data types and how do you declare a data types with this thing. So if you look at here, um, there's byte, short, int, long. They're all integer data types with it, and they can hold numbers such as 5, 10, 20, 89, etc. Again, there's no decimal in this thing as well. If you look in your book on page 50, there is the integer variable variable with the same, and you see how before you get to use the checking miles, minutes, and days, you got to be able to declare it first. And then the second part is from uh, line 12 to line uh, 15 is where you need to initialize it. Of course, you can declare it and initialize it the same one line. However, this is what's called hard coding it. Uh, hard coding just demonstrates the way how you actually output out what's inside the memory with the same with it. So be able to understand that that uh, that would actually output to the screen those literals that's being assigned into the discussion with it. Okay. Data types, uh, different data types, floating points with it, doubles, you know, precisions. Again, a single precision is about seven decimal. A double position is about 15 decimal points with it. So again, a float, you gotta realize how big is a float again? Four bytes. A double is eight bytes. Okay, so you can see how this thing rounds off in different positions with it. Okay, this is a this applies to Java. This applies to Java only. All right. So as we go through this. I want you to look at sales. You know, right? The next one is the code listing 2 11 on page 52. Look at any time when you deal with money, the best data type and the best precision is a double. 8 bytes. It gives the best round off position on 15 position from the decimal 15, uh, um, you know, to the right of that decimal 15 uh, positions with it as well. So if you look at price, tax, total, all the stuff gives you the proper precision and rounds off in the same with it. So um, again, again, uh, this is more about precision and the right data and uh, memory management with the same. Uh, floating points, all right. So when you actually have a, well, for example, float number, the number is 23.5 with the same. Uh, a double value is not compatible with a float. Why? A double is what? What's, what's the size of a double? Eight. A float is four. So what does this mean? This means that you can't squeeze an eight byte down to a four byte. It's about casting. However, you can put a float that's four bytes into a float that's bigger with the same. So in here in programming, what this is saying is that you can actually put an F behind this with the letter F to the literal with this. A double can be forced by, uh, by from a 4 byte to an 8 byte, which is wider. This, this will work with it. But going the other way around is that you cannot fit a number that's a float into number, which is what? A, f a float. And you're trying to put in a double with this thing. So an 8 byte into a uh, into a four byte would not work. This is what's called casting. And when you actually do the other way around, going from a four byte into a larger with an uppercase F or a lowercase F, this will work. This will give it a double with the same. Okay? So a four byte to an eight byte will work. This is what's called casting with the same. All right. Literals cannot contain embedded currency symbols. You cannot put dollar sign or anything. Uh, before or after it, all right. Scientific notations uh, with it can be represented by a floating point, so you can use like an E notation for exponential with this as well. So scientific E notations with this thing. So if you can look at um, fun facts, is there's a program in your book. Uh, I believe this is on page um, 54. Fun facts, and it shows you how you can actually convert. Uh, numbers in the uh, exact precisions with the E. If you look at line 10, mass is E and the distance with exponential. And those are all engineering scientific notations with this thing. All right. The next data type is what's called Boolean. A Boolean is either true or false. All right. How big is a Boolean again? You remember how big is a Boolean again? Make sure you know that. The, the size of a Boolean with it, it's only one byte. And you look at it, 
the boolean needs to be true or false with this thing. They say they're going to return a true or false. Uh, that's what we look at when you actually look at the booleans with this thing. Look at uh, example 5-5, I'm sorry, uh, page 55. Uh, example code listing 2-13 true false in Java with this thing and that's how it's actually assigned true is equal to boo false is equal to false with this thing so I can output right away what's inside boo as the identifier that would actually give me what is the current memory uh, after I sign it with it all right so come down to uh, this next is the char char is a literal for a character you have to put that in a, between a, a single quotation mark or apostrophe so look at letters with this thing I can assign uppercase a in letters to to a variable called letter the word call identifier called letters and that's a char I could output that letter to the screen with it so again uh, characters are one bytes with it as well Unicode, there are characters, uh, if you recall, there's ASCII, there's Unicode, there's EBIDIC, there's three systems with it as well. Character data in Java that stores Unicode characters. So the Unicode character sets off about 65,536 right? uh, different types of, 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 of strokes with this thing. So um, I'll let you read on what what are the literals with this thing. Yeah, here's what's a sample of what is an uppercase A will look like. Okay. So when you look at <clears throat> the class of this thing, uh, make sure you under, oh, going back to this right here, I want to go back to this right here, floating points in this thing. Make sure you understand this floating point business because I will give you a casting, all right, of something wide, too small, and how do you, how do you fix this thing so you will see something like this on the exam. So I'll give you something like this at the bottom is this how do I uh, which one of the following is this is you know to put in a float into a double uh, I'm sorry double into a, 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 a float uh, or do I put a double into a float into a double okay vice versa so you can cast wider but you can't cast narrow that's the key thing make sure you understand that I'll ask tell you ask you about the um, the boolean data type. Make sure you understand the boolean data types with that. Uh, what, what is what what are the boolean data types? And if you know what's a literal, uh, or enclose what type of quotation. So if you have a literal, they're apostrophe. If it's a string literal, you have to put it in, into a double quote, right? So that's very important for you to know. Next, I need to go and talk to you about assignments of, of, of operators with this thing. So uh, let me scroll down here. There's an order of operations here that, that takes place. So make sure you understand that there's, there's five uh, arithmetic operators and, and you should be familiar with this thing. Uh, the first four should be self-explanatory. The fifth one is modulus, which is the remainder. So in this example, you know, I ask you what is the value mod 5 so if I gave you 27 mod 5 that should be what 2 right so if I gave you 33 mod 5 the remainder should be 3 all right so that's mod that's mod what if I gave you what if I gave you 5 mod 30 okay then it is 5 okay so so if the first number is smaller than the second number uh, then, then you, you know, then you got you got to do what that means with it. Okay, so that's the remainder. Arithmetic operators with this thing. Look at the wage program for me. Look at the wage program. Hold on, so many minutes I have here. 